Hello Hunters, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to test the range of the Simple One electric scooter in Eco mode. The total weight on the scooter is approximately 160 plus kgs, and I fully charged the scooter to 100%. In this video, we'll cover the distance we travel and discuss the actual range we get in detail. So, let's get started and see how this scooter performs. The odometer is currently at 852 and we fully charged the scooter to 100%. The total weight on the scooter, including both the rider and pillion, is approximately 160 plus kgs, which is a realistic scenario for daily commuting. We'll be riding through a variety of road conditions, a mix of smooth stretches, flyovers, and a few inclines. This will give you a clear understanding of how the scooter performs in real-world conditions. Along the ride, I'll share my thoughts on the scooter's acceleration, handling, and overall comfort, all while staying in eco mode. Once we complete the ride, we'll check the odometer again to calculate the total distance covered and compare it with the scooter's claimed range. This will give you a practical idea of what to expect if you are planning to use this scooter for your daily needs. For today's ride, I'm keeping things super realistic and practical. The plan is to cruise at a steady speed of 40 km per hour, no overspeeding because the roads I'll be traveling on are a bit rough. It's all about simulating real-world conditions. To make sure the scooter doesn't overheat, I'll be taking a quick 5-minute break every now and then. This also gives me a chance to check in and share updates with you all. If I notice any heating issues during the ride, I'll make a separate video diving into the details. Today's ride got me thinking about something that hits home for so many of us, especially those living in rural areas. We work hard, pay our taxes, and yet, when it comes to something as basic as proper roads, we are left with disappointment. The roads I'm riding on today are far from ideal, bumpy, uneven, and honestly, they feel like they belong in another century. It's frustrating because these aren't highways or expressways we're asking for. We're talking about simple, functional roads that make everyday commuting safe and comfortable. And here's the thing, it's not like the funds aren't there. Every year, millions are allocated to infrastructure development. But corruption and inefficiency in politics siphon off so much of that money. Projects get delayed for years, and when they do happen, the quality is often suffer. It's like a vicious cycle, our hard-earned money gets misused, and we are left to deal with the consequences. Here 
Here's a quick update from the ride. After covering 30.4 kilometers, the battery has consumed about 23%. Honestly, I'm impressed because the scooter's power delivery is still consistent, no drop in performance at all. It's handling like a champ, even on these rough roads. I took a short break to let the scooter cool down and give myself a breather. Now, I'm back on the road, cruising steadily. I'm making it a point to show you the odometer display frequently so you can see for yourself I'm sticking to a speed of 40 km per hour, not going even a bit over that. This isn't just about testing the scooter, it's about showing you a real-world scenario. Finally, I've made it to my destination after covering a 54 km stretch on these rural roads. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with how the scooter performed throughout the journey. It handled the rough patches like a pro, and the power delivery remained consistent the entire way. Now, let's talk numbers. After traveling 54 km, the battery consumption stands at 42% which is pretty solid considering the road conditions and my steady speed of 40 km per hour. The odometer now reads 906 km, so we are making good progress on testing this beauty in real-world scenarios. While I'm here, I'll recharge the scooter to avoid any issues on the return trip. It's always better to stay prepared, especially when you are dealing with long distances and unpredictable road conditions. I've started heading back home now. I managed to recharge the scooter to 89% from 56%, which is a nice boost. I also drove a few kilometers while I was in town but unfortunately forgot to record the video. Now, as I head back, I'll check how much range I have left on the scooter, do the math, and update you on the remaining battery life and distance. I started my journey with the scooter's odometer reading 852 km and the battery fully charged at 100%. After traveling 54 km, the battery drained to 58%. During a break, I recharged the scooter back to 89%. Then, I continued my ride back home and after completing the trip, the odometer read 977 km. In total, I consumed 94% of the battery and covered a distance of 125 km at an average speed of 40 km per hour. If I had been riding solo, it's likely I could have reached a range of around 150 km on a full charge. <laughs> 